with raspberry coulis and here we go. To make this recipe, for the coulis, 12 ounce bag of frozen raspberries, one quarter cup of water, five tablespoons of sugar, and an eighth teaspoon of salt. So the cheesecake, the no-bake cheesecake, has been in the refrigerator overnight, and I'm getting ready to take it out. But before I do that, I'm going to make a raspberry coulis so that I can serve this with something yummy. Raspberry coulis is just basically raspberries that are heated up and with sugar, a little teeny bit of salt, and some lemon juice. It's very easy to make. You can cook these at various lengths. I want a light, fresh tasting coulis to go on top of this cheesecake because it's light and fresh itself. I don't want to weigh it down. And so I'm going to cook this much less for much less time than I would for something like, you know, a heavier dessert. Um, and so what you, what you do is you turn your burner on, I would say to a medium high to start. And today I'm using frozen raspberries from Wyman's um, and I didn't have fresh. I've let these thaw for about an hour just so they're not quite so frozen and they'll be in here and then I'm going to add a quarter cup of water just so they don't it helps them heat up without burning. If you've ever made cranberry sauce it's the same kind of thought that goes into this. You're just looking to break down the fruit. And the next thing is I'm going to put five tablespoons of sugar in here. It's That's not a lot for this amount of fruit, but I, I am going to test it afterwards and make sure, but I am positive this is going to be enough because I don't want it too sweet. And a eighth, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And so you put those in there. And then you just give it a stir and you're going to cook this until that sugar is dissolved and it's all mixed together and you want to kind of get a, you want this all to heat up and then we're going to simmer and you don't have to stir this constantly when you first put it in there, you just stir it to get the sugar and salt dissolved. Okay, so as you can see, it's now starting to, to bubble all over, and I'm just going to let that go for about another minute. As you can see, the colors of the bubbles are deep red now, and that's, that's a good sign. So I think we're just about there. Okay, so I'm going to stir that just a little bit, and then I'm going to actually put it in the food processor and um, run it all together for just a few pulses. Okay, now I've turned that, so that's as easy as that was. And now I'm going to take the pureed sauce and put it into a strainer. And once again, I'm going to get all of that goodness out of there. And I'm going to take the spatula and just push that liquid through. Stir it and you just try to get those seeds out of there so the it 
And it seems like it takes forever when you're doing this. But you just keep stirring, clearing the bottom of what's accumulated. Just keep stirring and working it through. So I'm going to leave this at this moment and come back to it. I'm going to put it over another bowl and let it drain any more that's in there and I'll stir it a couple more times. But for the moment, if I stop there, I would just feel bad that I had left that much in there. But I will, this is, this is what we're looking at, a nice smooth, and I'm going to let that cool off for a moment. All right, now that we've brought this, gotten as much out of it as we're going to for the moment, I've got two teaspoons of lemon juice to put in, which will lighten this up. I'm just gonna give this a taste and see if I am happy with the sugar and the lemon juice. Mm, it's perfect. It's tart, and it's just going to go really well with the cheesecake. So I will put that over there. Don't want to just rip this off because sometimes those graham crackers do stick to the... And there we go. Fix that up a little bit. So, this is the cheesecake. I've cut a couple of pieces out. Um, and the, if I were to serve this, I would put a little coolie in here. Just put some on and then enjoy. If you can get anything out of that entire, <laughs> you know, does that look good? Yeah, don't touch it. Like